more money to do stuff. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's the quality of the ideas on this. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, I've brought some money in, little stuff, because we had him, we had him showering with our mate Johnny for a thousand pounds yesterday. Yeah, we, we just got into a discussion, and then one of us suggested that how much would it cost us to pay you, Carl, to have a shower with another man? Not, and there's nothing going on. You got no, no, there's nothing going on. You just, you're just in a shower, a normal shower. You're just washing, e washing each other, having, uh, no, not each other, just yourselves. Yeah. You're just, you're just having a chat. Yeah, right, washing you go, yourselves. Yeah, having a shower. Yeah. But and it's it, a regular we, shower in a, in a regular yeah. house. It's not a shower in and a swimming he, And pool. he went fine. He got we got he got a thousand pounds out of it. He wouldn't do nine hundred. He got a thousand pounds out of it. But then we said, and we'll have to watch to make sure you do it. Yeah. And he went, no, that's weird. So, but what, why? What's the, was, I mean, this is what annoys me, though, right? The whole idea of, oh, what would you do, right? So I bet you missed out there. When what? we started this chat saying, oh, I wonder what you'd do for money, it did start off with, would you rub Dale Winton's neck? <laughs> would you give Dale Winton a massage for 20 <laughs> quid? No, we, but we, yeah, but it's you have to say no, 500. You could, you got, we're trying to find out what your price is. What price, Carl, is the name of the show. So, so, you'd, would you give, um, uh, a uh, Dale Whitten just a, he's got a knot, he's got a bit of a knot, he's stressed, he's been doing supermarket sweep, and he's furious, one of the contestants was answering back, calling him names, and he's got, he's got all knots in his neck. You just put your, th just give him a little bit of a, you know, five minutes. A little neck massage. How much would you do that for? He's naked, and it's just a little neck massage. Nothing, there's nothing going on. It's like so there you you're go. naked as well. Naked. But it's I'm just a two of you naked, at giving him a little massage. No, no, seriously. Uh, would you, would you give him? Um, okay, would you, would you give me a foot massage? For how much? Well, that's, well, that's, that's what's so your that's price. And what are the rules, though? Can I wear gloves? No, no, no. Just, just, just uh, you know. Let's start off simple. Would you take off my shoes and socks? Uh, for, for I'd do it for like. Fifty quid. There's, you've got okay, that's okay. No, no, twenty quid to take off one shoe and one sock, but like you mean it. You just take the shoe off. You go, uh, and as you're pulling down my sock, you pull the sock down slowly. You look me in the eyes and go, "What lovely ankles!" <laughs> Seriously, how no, much? Not. What price? Uh, twenty quid a foot. Twenty quid a foot. That's got so, to be worth it. So twenty quid, you will take off my. Um, we put on some soft music, <laughs> right? Do, 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 no, I, don't, I don't need it today. That's that's what I was saying to you yesterday. You always do. You know it. what I mean? No, you, you don't. Need it. At the moment, I'm cash. quite happy. Give it to a homeless person. Give it to a charity. Well, don't get him in here. Well, wait, wait, are you still going to shower with Johnny for a thousand pounds? Not now, because you said, and me and Steve are just going to stand in the corner and, and watch. Well, we've got to make sure you do it. You might go in there and just like wet your hair and come out, pay Johnny five hundred quid, and go. Yeah, we had a shower. How will we know? Sorry, I'm quite interested in about the shoe and sock. <laughs> I'm, I'm back to the I'm back to the shower. You just have to wash yourselves. Now, we have to inspect that it's really clean because we want you to wash certain parts really. Right, well, wh why have you both got to be in there then? Well, why no, because one of us. Can we just take? I mean, we, yeah. Or, or can, can Steve film it? <laughs> <laughs> as, as evidence, just as evidence. Or we leave, I tell you what, we leave the TV camera in there. We neither of us to be in there, and then we can just watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are, are you a couple well, of I benders? Be, I should, <laughs> are you a couple of benders? No. <laughs> No. But can we can we discuss further the uh, taking of the shoe and the sock? Because uh, I think there's twenty pounds. In, I, I'm willing to pay twenty pounds to see that. See a little surprise for you there. That's uh, a cold player here. They're live through there. Thanks. Um, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Um, uh, yeah, brilliant. Do you want to? Do you want to say a few words? Do you want to? Yeah, say no, I'll have a quick word with Chris, uh, lead singer Chris. Chris, good to have you here. Hello. <laughs> and um, um, how's it going with Gwyneth Paltrow? Brilliant. Yeah. Yes, she's uh, a lovely lady. Yeah, no, I thought so. Yeah, I saw her in Shakespeare in Love. She's good, she good in that. Yeah, isn't she? If you would pass that on to her, just yeah, say well, I enjoyed yeah. that. Um, um, it's going alright. You going to get married or? Yeah, so I'm, I marry either her or that Julia Roberts going, woman. Yeah, either one is good. Yeah. Um, um, I know, to, I, know interest, I know you're on holiday at the moment in yeah. Hawaii. I read in the no, paper today. No, You're actually here. I'm actually here. <laughs> okay. Um, got to uh, go now. Got to go. All right, just a couple of quick. We'll see you later, Chris. Yes, see you, Ricky. So that's the sort of guests. That's the kind of guests. We're just trying to up. Things. Just like Jonathan Ross, we've got guests like Jonathan Ross. That's Coldplay just popped in. Just popped so in. So if you're the Sony people listening, you brilliant. Wanna... And we've still got Carl to take off my sock for twenty quid. Okay, let's do it now. Let's just get it over with and do it now. Come on, Carl. Let's get our cash out then. Mate. There's ten pounds right no, there. No, 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 no. You don't know him because he owes you ten. So I just have to pay him ten. Okay. Yeah. So go on then. Just not, take. Not whilst Coldplay are here. <laughs> <laughs> 
they, they've had to shoot off. <laughs> Come no, on. I don't want to do it. Let's why not? It. Tell me what... on now for half an hour. Okay, well, okay. Well, at the end of this, why won't you do it? It's ridiculous. You won't have a shower, you won't take my shoes and socks off, you won't do anything. You won't get, give Dale wouldn't a rub down. What will you do, for Christ's sake? I don't want to, I don't want to do it. So if my mum and dad are, are, are like, I've heard about how well I'm doing in London. Yeah. Right? They've heard about, you know, the Sony Awards and that. They're yeah. talking to the mates, they're saying Carl's doing well for himself. Yeah. Let's have a listen to him on Sky. Yeah. You're tuning in, I'm taking off socks for money. What's <laughs> it with that? That'll be the first time that anyone in your family has actually made, you know, money without stealing, thieving, yeah. it's or an honest, some kind it's of honesty. Well, let's just do it quick then, because the first honest it's money. getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's actually annoying me. Excellent. Excellent, all right. Yeah, well, give me the money, Steve. Oh, no, right. you, well, he's just taking a tenner off me. Right, okay. Okay. Right, okay. Let's go like that. You can't do it properly. You don't say that. You've got to do it properly. Go ahead, do it properly. Just gently. I can't see what's happening. Just pretend I'm working on a shop. There's nothing normal. Come on, just get it done. What's that? What's whistling? What's the whistling? <laughs> right. Okay, now do it properly, gently. Yes. <laughs> it's a sweaty trainer, which just makes right, it all the more. Just right. gently caress it, caress it. There's someone watching in the office. Caress it there. Don't just right. gently ease the shoe. Just gently off. Just like working on a shoe shop. There's nothing. Nothing weird about it. Just gently yeah, ease it off. Right. I'm gonna burst. I'm gonna burst. All right. Now just right, no, just come on, stop. gently do it. Don't just rip it off. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly, slowly tease it. Tease it. I don't like this. I just wasted a tenner and that wasn't enjoyable. Now, now wait a minute, you've got to say. <laughs> so you've got say to say about my ankle. So you've got lovely toes and I love your ankle. You've got nice toes and that. <laughs> so say it properly. I don't like it anymore. Do it and you've got right. to say, you've got to you've got to say for the tenner, otherwise oh, you're taking it back, you've God. got to say what lovely ankles you've got, but in a sweet, seductive voice. Right. <laughs> Right, you've got nice ankles. <laughs> that is not how you would seduce a woman. Like you that. would not seduce a woman like that, Carl. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Suzanne. I don't <laughs> Imagine that. I don't know. I don't feel good about Move it. Move it off, because I want to see if we can get into massage your toes. <laughs> See, I don't know what's worse. I, d I mean, I didn't like the feeling much. That wasn't very nice because it was all, it was all rough. And I, I, you know, and he's a, he's a skinhead and he's playing on the feet. And then I thought, oh, I've degraded him. So I don't know what I feel worse about. I'll g you can keep the tenner that you owe me if you massage his toes. No, I'm not doing that. No, no we paid him. He's done it. Yeah, the, the shoes are back on. We're, we're some out next week. Some out next week. Okay. So, if you'd like to Carl to humiliate himself for money, email in. Oh, Suzanne was surprised that I was like last night. I told her about it. And I said, <gasps> oh, why did you do that? I don't feel. I don't know what I feel now. That's, that's not good. I don't know. That's not good, is it? And she just said, "Well, you know, uh, you don't like <laughs> chucking money away, and that." And it was funny because we got talking about uh, when when we bought our first flat in Manchester, right? Uh, I thought. <laughs> I bought a bed, right, I didn't have much money, and uh, what annoyed me is, I bought the bed and it turned up, and I said, where's the mattress? And they said, well, you don't get, you don't get a mattress with the bed, you've got to buy that separately. And I was like, well, that's not a bed then, <laughs> right? So I didn't have any more money. Suzanne's at work, so I thought, well, I don't want to stress her out at work and that, mm. telling her we haven't got a mattress for the bed. I had a word with my dad, right, he knew a mate who had one in the back of a van, right, he said, I'll have a word with him, he'll let you have it. Got the van, brought it round, stunk a diesel and that, but I thought, well, <laughs> it's, it's free, <laughs> it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> they brought it up, I stuck it in the spare room, <laughs> Suzanne got home, she looked at the bed, she said, that looks all right, so where's the mattress, so it's in the next next room, but I thought I won't tell her because sure. she won't like the idea. She went in, just the room stunk of, like, petrol fumes <laughs> and that. Yeah. She said, what, what's going on? <laughs> I said, well, it's, a mattress didn't come with a bed. So I've sorted you one out, I've got this off my dad, <laughs> and we didn't have one night on it. She said, get rid of it. Yeah. I had to go and ditch it. I don't know what she was thinking. <laughs> one of your father's friends is driving around in a van with a mattress in the back. Yeah. Was he a serial killer? <laughs> I mean, and she <laughs> didn't want to sleep on it. Let's have some silence the lamb. What kind of a cheapskate is she? What kind of a woman is she that she won't sleep on a mattress that has been in the back of a transit van? That's yeah, because it's like covered in... Petrol, diesel, probably urine, and Christ <laughs> knows what else. Yeah. Oh. So, you know. Would you swap pants with Steve for 50 quid now? You don't have to look at him, you go in the toilet, he, ta he takes his pants off in the toilet, leaves him there, you go in, <laughs> right, you come out with your trousers on, you go in, right, take your pants off, put his pants on, leave your pants in the toilet, come out, you've got his pants on, he goes in there, you come out and you swap pants. At the end of the show, you put it back. How much? When you say pants, what do you mean? Just Jeans. underpants. Underpants. No, I'm not doing underpants. Why? 
Why not? Seriously, these were fresh on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, but, but for I the mean, BAFTAs, for the uh, awards, the Sony. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, which name your price? It's going to be more than twenty quid. It's going to be more than twenty quid. It's going to be it's going to be like eighty quid upwards, I think. No, clean on today. They yeah. were clean on today. in their boxes. It's as bad for him as you. Don't, don't remember that. Thanks for that. Fifty quid. Really? Play record. No, hang on. You just said you'll give me fifty quid. If you go and swap pants. I don't know what's in it for me. I don't know why I'm doing this. It started off as torturing Carl, but not only am I out of pocket, I don't actually want you two to swap pants or touch my ankles. Well, Steve isn't I don't know what no. I've done. This is, I, 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 I'm the victim here. I've paid out and I don't even like it. Play a record. I want to think about this. Could, I mean, <coughs> I've got 50 quid if you... <laughs> as long as we can swap the pants but both be in the room at the same time. Band of Gold by the artist who featured in uh, uh, a recent Rockbuster uh, clue, which was, I think, uh, uh, the Jamaican fella needs an aspirin for his head, and that goes, of course, to free the pain. <laughs> Brilliant. Rockbuster's coming up, isn't it, Carl? We uh, we start it up now. Get it get it going. No, let's 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 no. Let's I thought we there. weren't doing this anymore. I know. I don't know what happened. I, I don't, don't know. know. I, I mean. <sighs> But I mean, it's, I mean, we're shooting off in a couple of weeks, so yeah. What difference yeah. does it make? Well, we might, we might as well. Now you've mentioned it, it's a good time. Go on then. Right. Uh, three cryptic, cryptic clues like the one you just heard there. <laughs> uh, first one. Cryptic. <laughs> that is cryptic um, a word. First one. My younger brother spotted you the other day. Right. That's the cryptic clue. My younger brother spotted you the other day. The initials J S. J S for the band. Second one, uh, that champagne belongs to the boxer's kid. <laughs> <laughs> the way he looks up, like, it's Oscar Wilde. Yeah. It's, oh. That champagne belongs to the boxer's kid, the initials are A-M. And the third one, uh, the vibrators. And the initial B. What? Right? The vibrators. And the initial is B. So the first one, my younger brother spotted you the other day. Oh, I know that one. That's ridiculous. 